Education Scotland's guidelines for early reading are organised across three main areas. These are building a literacy-rich environment through interactions, experiences and spaces, developing skills for reading and building independent and engaged readers. For each of the areas pictured, a suite of videos has been developed to support professional learning. The videos have been carefully developed to align with Realising an Ambition and Scotland's Curriculum for Excellence guidance. Where direct links have been made to Realising the Ambition, the language and images from the guidance document have been used to illustrate the connection. Throughout the video, some technical terms are used to describe aspects of early reading. The QR code shown on the slide will allow you to access a glossary with brief explanations of some of the terms used. Each area has been broken down into four themes. There is a video which explores each theme, identifying key messages and research which supports the guidance. This video is focused on supporting children to develop a love of reading, as underlined on the slide. You may choose to watch this video in isolation, but it is recommended that the overall suite of videos is used to support a broader programme of professional learning. Reading for Pleasure has a significant positive impact on all outcomes. Within this video, we will explore these three key messages. Value and respond to the interests of the child to develop meaningful engagement with reading. Work together with families to nurture a love of reading. Develop a love of reading through consideration of the interactions, experiences and spaces on offer. We will start by considering how reading for pleasure can have a significant positive impact on all outcomes. There is a growing body of evidence which illustrates the importance of reading for pleasure across a wide range of positive outcomes, including emotional, social and mental well-being, increased empathy, reduced stereotyping and prejudice, and greater insight into human nature and decision-making. There is extensive research which links positive attitudes towards reading with increased attainment in literacy, including word reading, fluency, comprehension, verbal language abilities, grammar and spelling, increased general knowledge and vocabulary. The language of books is very different from spoken language and provides children with experience of wider and more varied vocabulary, sentence structure and expression of ideas. The gap between children from low and high socioeconomic backgrounds begins early. The Growing Up in Scotland research found by age five there is a gap of 13 months in vocabulary which can have significant impact on children's reading progress. Evidence from the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, known as the OECD, found that reading enjoyment is more important for children's educational success than their family's socio-economic status. The SOSU and Ellis analysis of the 2009 Programme for International Student Assessment, also known as PISA, shows that increasing reading engagement could mitigate 30% of the attainment gap. Therefore, opportunities to develop a love of reading should be considered in order to improve positive outcomes for children most affected by poverty. This key message encourages us to value and respond to the interests of the child to develop meaningful engagement with reading. We will now consider how to value and respond to the interests of the child to develop meaningful engagement in reading. Research from the Open University found that when educators develop an understanding of their children's everyday reading practices and home-based reading preferences, they began to move away from adult-selected books and welcomed a wider range of texts. We know the positive impact of reading for pleasure on well-being, literacy and equity. So how do educators support children to develop a love of reading? Educators can support children to engage with texts by valuing and responding to their interests and experiences. By choosing relevant texts, young readers have the opportunity to access texts which reflect their lives as well as introducing them to new ideas or worlds. To extend their range of reading, children need to choose, experience and talk about new and different texts, authors and illustrators. 
The Open University also highlights that educator engagement with contemporary children's literature is key in developing a reading culture. Educators reported having limited knowledge of children's authors and relying heavily upon their own childhood favourites or celebrity authors. This can reduce children's access to a wide range of contemporary and diverse texts. There are a number of ways in which educators can extend their knowledge of contemporary literature within and beyond their own settings. For example, swapping texts, sharing recommendations or adding a regular book review slot to staff meetings can help to foster a community of readers, not just amongst children, but also between staff members. There are several national educator reading groups which are facilitated by organisations such as the Scottish Book Trust and the Open University. For further details of these, please see the signposting section. This key message emphasises the importance of working together with families to nurture a love of reading. Parents and carers are key partners in nurturing a child's love of reading. By linking with families to promote reading for pleasure, Children have the opportunity to see reading role models at home. Research by the National Literacy Trust found that reading role models can improve children and young people's attitudes and engagement with reading. Participants in the research considered family, friends and teachers amongst their top role models. Reading with family members also supports development of communication and language skills, as well as bonding and attachment. Children and their caregivers will value reading in different forms depending on their interests and experiences, so we need to take this into account when planning family learning. Library membership can support children and their families to develop a love of reading. The Every Child as a Library Member programme is a key action of Scotland's public library strategy. The programme aims to establish opportunities for library registration at birth, nursery and primary school enrolment to ensure that every child in Scotland has access to the learning resources available in public libraries. Research shows that shared reading experiences with family continue to have literacy and emotional benefits for children beyond the lower primary years. There are many informal approaches such as reading cafes, library visits or stay and read sessions to support families to explore and enjoy a range of texts. Educators could model ideas of how we can engage with texts, for example through films, books, cookery programmes. Resources around supporting family engagement with texts can be found in the signposting section. Every year, the Scottish Book Trust provide book bags and learning materials to all children in Scotland, from birth to primary three, through the book bug and read right count with the First Minister gifting programmes. These free resources support book ownership and provide families and educators with opportunities to engage children in reading for pleasure. Research by the National Literacy Trust found that children and young people who said that they have a book of their own at home were not only more engaged with reading, but also six times more likely to read above the level expected for their age compared with their peers who said they didn't have their own book. Family engagement with the gifted books at home also supports reading for pleasure. Many settings choose to hold gifting ceremonies or events where children and their families have the opportunity to read, discuss and take part in games and activities linked to the gifted texts. In the years since their book gifting programmes have been established, the Scottish Book Trust have found that if books and materials are explored first in settings, families are far more likely to use and revisit them at home. This key message explores how we can develop a love of reading through consideration of the interactions, experiences and spaces on offer. We will start by thinking about the interactions we have around reading. The shared experience of exploring books together can have a great influence on developing a love of reading. Time spent choosing and sharing books together can help to build a community where we have rich conversations about the reading that is taking place. The Open University highlights the importance of social reading environments where children can relax, browse and interact with others. 
Through sensitive interactions, we can model reading behaviour. Stopping to laugh at the things we each find funny. Talking together about books that appeal to us. Exploring the pictures we see and patterns of language we hear. The Scottish Book Trust illustrate how responding to children's preferences and actions during book sharing can empower them as future readers. As educators, it is important for us to develop the skills to model storytelling and read aloud to children. Being an animated storyteller who can capture children's interests requires confidence and practice, so it is important to build the required knowledge and experience. Knowing when to use different voices, using dramatic facial expressions and actions, are also important as we encourage children to mimic our response to the story and create their own. We can draw attention to the repetition that happens in many stories, encouraging children to actively participate. The Scottish Book Trust has a range of resources to support staff development, including the opportunity to watch a story being told collaboratively with a group of parents and children, then follow a step-by-step guide to learning and telling a story by heart. Another practical idea from the Scottish Book Trust is to encourage interactions around texts through the use of wordless films or picture books. There is a freedom in exploring only pictures, which allows the child to focus on the parts of the book that are most interesting to them and play with the story, telling it in their own way. This allows them to become involved in creating their own stories, changing and developing them through interactions with others. We can now consider the experiences which we provide to foster a love of reading. Realising the ambition encourages us to provide quality picture books alongside a range of different media, including fiction and non-fiction texts, which connect with children's interests and family life. The Scottish Book Trust have produced a guide to help educators to keep libraries up to date, as well as a range of suggested book lists, which can help us to provide texts that children in your setting can engage and connect with. Play provides an opportunity for children to interact with stories, promoting engagement and enjoyment, as well as learning. Providing puppets, dressing up items and props can help children to explore the stories that they have connected with. By having fun investigating words, rhymes and different texts throughout your setting, we can encourage children to see themselves as readers. We should provide opportunities for children to hear and engage with stories over the course of the day. We want to encourage enjoyment and choice where children can independently explore texts as and when they wish. There should also be carefully planned group story times where children can benefit from a shared reading experience that has been carefully tailored to their needs and interests. Some children may enjoy listening to a story for a longer period, while others may be more engaged in a shorter or more active session. Responsive planning of group sessions helps us to ensure that these experiences are appropriate and enjoyable for everyone. Finally, we will think about how we can use our spaces effectively to support reading for pleasure. Noticing how and where children choose to interact with texts is very important if we are to foster a love of reading. A wide range of texts should be available in spaces throughout your setting. Through observation, we can build an understanding of children's reading practices, which stretch far beyond their use of the reading corner. Using this information can help us to foster enjoyment of texts by responding to both their interests and use of spaces. Utilising outdoor spaces is a key feature of early years practice, which extends to reading for pleasure. The Scottish Book Trust have lots of practical ideas on their website which highlight the joy of reading outdoors. Promoting reading opportunities outdoors allows children to make connections between the texts and the world around them. Children can more readily transport texts and have the freedom to use them fluidly as they engage with their environment. Looking at non-fiction texts can encourage children to be curious in the outdoor environment and listening to stories outside can really help to bring them to life. Children may choose to use texts actively or enjoy some calmer time. Having spaces available for children to choose a spot under a shady tree or corner 
of a story shed can allow time for rest and inspire the next story adventure through outdoor play. Developing spaces to explore and talk about texts is crucial in building a reading culture for children. We should be thinking about how we can use a range of spaces for book talk, storytelling and exploration of books together. It's also important to have inviting spaces where children can feel a sense of comfort as they lose themselves in a book. A video overview, glossary, signposted resources and some reflective questions have been created to accompany this video. You can use the QR code on the screen to access these.